All right, I'm gonna keep this shit brief. And by brief, I mean really long. Eight minutes and 42 seconds. Holy shit, that isn't brief. Anyway, first, here's what you need to know. It doesn't matter what OS you're on, as long as it's Windows. Everybody get that joke that's gonna... All right. So hard linking is quite simple to understand once you get the idea of it. There's a lengthy, well-explained tutorial, masterfully written on sh the website. But since you're watching this, you're probably too fucking lazy to read it. Let's get to it. A hard link is a pointer, like a shortcut, only different. I probably just lost half of you idiots on that sentence alone. But picture in your mind a hard drive. Now picture a file on that hard drive. Instead of calling it a file, which it isn't, we'll call it a node of data, or just a node. You with me? How about a poop node? Yeah, poop node. Everything you see on your hard drive is linked to poop nodes. Now, a hard link is another link to the same poop node. It isn't the same as a shortcut in the sense that it is a direct link to the poop node, not a file pointing and following the file that links to the poop node. Now with a hard link, it's possible to rename either link and it will not change the poop node. The only way to change the poop node is to delete all the links to the poop node. If you erase one hard link to it and still have the other, your poop node remains. With hard links, you can rename or move the link to anywhere you want on the partition. It must be on the same partition. Remember, I'm talking Windows here, not Unix. You Unix people can fuck off this tutorial and go play with your pseudo commands and bash scripts. Now, how do we do it? Well, a great programmer, better than you and me combined, named... Fuck, what was his name? Herman Schna... Herm... Herman Schnagel... Herman Schnagel... Schnagel... Schn... Herman. He created a great program called Link Shell Extension, and you can get it on his site. It's also provided in the video's description. So here it is. You want to click on download, donate to him because he's awesome, and maybe with all the money you'll get a fucking name change, and then scroll a bit below it to the executables. Grab Windows X64 version or X32 depending on your operating system. It really doesn't matter which if you're running 64-bit. You will need to have Visual C++ installed for this to work though. He actually provides the link to it right below the main download, which I believe is version 2017, 14.16. Uh, but 14.14 will work, or 14.12, uh, 11, 9. You don't need whatever. You don't need it. But if you find once you've installed the thing, it doesn't link, then that's the reason. So you can download that and install it, and then it should work. Moving on. Install it. You better know how to do that, because I'm not going to show you how. Go to Start or the Installations directory and double click on the Options file. Here we have an overwhelming shitload of options. No really, you should just leave them alone, they're fine. But if you don't want the overlay icons to show up on the symbolic or hard link or junction pointers, then you can change that later. It's up to you. You may be wondering what junctions are. They're basically like hard links, only they can delete the poop node. I'll summarize it. So we went to right? This motherfucker wanted to get high, so we had to figure out where we were going to go get high. So we said, all right, let's go to the park downtown. I know a spot there. It's in shade. Nobody bothers us. Nobody will fuck us. So we were there for a little bit. We pulled out the blunt. We smoked it. We started seeing shit. We're talking nonsense. Phoenix, cookie dough, all that other crap. And then we got some noise coming from behind us. And I stood up and I walked around and I looked at on the other side of the tree. And in the distance, I saw a guy and a girl. They were overweight. They were carrying a uh, lunch basket. And I couldn't hear it, but I did hear it. And she's all, hey, why don't we sit on this bench? And then after we eat, we can like totally make out. And the dude shook his head. He's like, all right. So I nudged Tyrell and he looked over the corner and we watched him for a little bit. And they ate their fat food and they put it in the fat mouth and they sat there for their fat bit of time. And, and then they started making out. And they were really going at it, like just two wild boars, just like rah, rah, rah. And what was strange about it is not so much the kissing, but they were both dressed the same, which I thought was kind of weird, you know, like a dude wearing a skirt and they both had the same color and the same outfit and stuff like that. I just figured, you know, they came from like a cosplay convention or something stupid like that. So anyway, an hour went by, what felt like an hour of kissing, and uh, they finally stopped and then they noticed Tyrell. And so they both got up and they came over to us. And Tyrell starts flipping out, he starts panicking, like, oh my god, what are we gonna say? What the fuck's going on? Let's get the fuck out of here, dude. I was like, no, don't worry about it, who gives a shit, cops them. So they reached us and like, well, like, what are you doing here? And I noticed that bitch was missing teeth. And the other guy was just staring at Tyrell, like waiting for an answer, as if we're like peeping or some shit. So I said, none of your damn business. And then the guy was to me and goes, but it is our business. And no, it ain't your business, it's our business. It's like you guys fucking kissing and hugging on each other like a couple of pigs. Ain't none of our business neither. Well, what are you guys? A couple of perverts or something like that? Tyrell like, no, nah, we ain't fucking perverts. You guys are fucking perverts. And who comes to a park eating food fucking start making out? I laughed at that. And then they looked at each other. And then something weird happened. There was something off about the dude. I blinked a couple times and I kept blinking. I rubbed my eyes. Like, I couldn't quite make it out. You know, my mouth was dry and I was a little bit delusional at the time. But no, all this shit could just be bullshit. I mean, I don't even know if it really happened because it has some pretty good weed. The dude takes off his hat because what they look like they're wearing is these kind of uniform type things. He takes off his hat and I don't remember the logo or anything like that. Now I know what the logo is. And he uh he puts it down beside him and then he undoes his hair and his hair comes down to his shoulders. And I realized this motherfucker's a woman. These are two women. These, these were two women fucking making out on there. Two fat ass women making out on the bench. And then he came over to us and he decided to give us an attitude as if we're perverts and shit. So by this time my brain's kind of calculating it, figuring out, going, what the fuck did I just witness? What's going on here? And somehow I'm standing now and I look at him and I go, you two are girls like that. And he goes, yeah, so what of it? And I just said, well, that, okay, you know, you're, you're girls. I'm not making anything of it. I just I didn't know you were girls. And one on the right goes, we're women. And I said, well, then why are you like that? And he said, we're selling Girl Scout cookies. And then Tyrell goes, Girl Scout cookies. You got any on you? And one on the left says, yeah, why? You want to buy some? Like, hell yeah, I want to buy some. What do you got? And so they walk back to the bench. They come back over with the bag. They bring over some of them Girl Scout cookies. And Tyrell bought a box of mint. And I got some of the peanut butter. This was before the peanut butter cookies like went really bad. Like they changed them. Like they degraded the quality of chocolate and shit. Like, the chocolate started tasting like stale or something. Like I think there was too much air inside the bag. Anyway, it's not fucking important. But uh, it's probably the weirdest experience of my life. So for now, leave the junction shit alone. Okay, here's an example. We're installed. We got a test file. 
I'm going to use some fucking executable that's on this hard drive for some reason. In case you haven't noticed, I'm doing this tutorial from a public library. There are other people need to use that computer. In a minute! We go to the source directory, as you see here, and then we right-click and select Pick Link Source. And now you're on your own. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. We go into the new directory that we want to put this new poop node pointer in. Once inside, we right click, then we go to drop as and select hard link. Bam! There it is. Your very own hard link. So we have two pointers now, the original and the hard link. Both should have overlay icons over them for your convenience. Now if you want, you can change the name of the hard link and it will still work. Why? Because I told you why already, goddammit. Pay attention. And it doesn't change the name of the original pointer or affect it at all. Looky here. See that? It's magic. It's also important to note that it didn't actually copy the file, meaning even though it displays identically, it's not a copy, meaning it didn't take up any of your hard drive space. You can also delete the file, and it will not delete the source file or the node. The only way to delete the source is to delete the source pointer to the poop node, the original, or both files in this case but I'm not gonna delete both my files. You can fucking do that on your own. Now, why is this useful? <laughs> I have no idea. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use uTorrent 221 to show you how to cross seed shit right now. And don't give me any shit about uTorrent 221. It's their best release, it's stable, it's fast, it doesn't suck up resources, and it's the only one that isn't exploitable. Fuck, I wish they didn't destroy this client. Qubit sucks. Okay. So if you've stopped watching now because you're a fan of Qubit or RT or uh, what's the other one? The uh, the one with the water. Deluge. And fuck, I don't know. Is Azura still around? Who cares? Here we have two torrents. Two different trackers. Same file. Two separate hashes down here. You see the hashes right here? They're different, right? Now, there's no problem here because we're hard linked in these separate directories. And that's pretty much it. Most of the time, cross-seeding doesn't need hard linking. It isn't necessary. Normally, hard linking is best used when there's a problem, like the one I'm about to show you right now. Torrent A has a file with its end of the line, or end of line, or EOL save from Linux. Probably fucking Seuss. Fuck Seuss. And when you received it from tracker B, its EOL is Windows. How do we fix this? Simple. You can do two things. One. Delete the hard link of the text file and re-download it. Or, delete the text file and copy and paste the original file from the first directory into the second directory. Like so. Now it acts as a copied file that will either be overwritten, or you can modify it with Notepad++. Open it in Notepad++, and go to Edit, EOL Conversion, and select Windows or Linux, depending on what the tracker wants. Now you can recheck the torrent, and it should go to 100%. If all is well, you'll get them all rechecked at 100%. If not, just delete the hard links. Only the hard link, which are not 100%. And re-download the files. Either way, you'll save hard drive space by doing this. And you could reap all those ratio rewards everyone jerks off all of themselves about. Ah. <sighs> I hope this tutorial was helpful. If not, I just wasted your time and um, you can't have it back. Making these things are time consuming, man. Fucking time consuming. And I'm not getting paid. Hey, miss, she could use the computer now.